Well, alright then. Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. I'm Hupfen, and in our current state, we seem to be okay. We're not doing great. We're doing okay. Uh, we started this little expedition down into just a pit of chlorine gas. That I would qualify as not okay, but it was necessary to gather this bleach stone so that we can have some hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer means people will be happier when they go have their food. And happy duplicates are less stress duplicates, like Bigwig. Bigwig is always stressed out, and I wish I had some idea why. Uh, we're going to work on that a little bit, and uh, you know, keep our our food generation going, even if it's just mush bars, uh, because we can always do a mush fry. Um, okay, let's do. One of these first. It said we had it, and then I said, go ahead and make the thing, and now it's like, we don't have the thing. Then don't tell me that we have the thing. You know, the, the presence of thing is very important in our construction plans. Uh, also, further construction plans involve coming over here. There's plenty of slime and algae and all of that good stuff. That's really good when it comes to oxygen, which is something that we kind of need. Because uh, we are running on insufficient oxygen generation at the moment. Um, I say at the moment because there is a considerable hope that, that will get better. But right now that is not the case. Uh, this water reservoir is running out. We have this one, but uh, we're really worried about this and uh, we need a filtration medium we have lots of it we are we are overloaded on sand we just have to do something with it so everyone is off to sleep and uh, we're gonna work through the night to figure out uh, how we're gonna handle this so this produces oxygen and hydrogen by pumping in water. Now, this doesn't indicate if, excuse me, this doesn't indicate if the water has to be clean. This, with its liquid intake and liquid outtake, is probably a, a difference. Because um, it gives off polluted water. So I'm starting to get the sense that yes, those are distinct things. Uh, but what we can do is, uh, well, first we have to build tile. Build the tile first. And, uh, I might as well put it over here. And then put the air scrubber there. Uh, that's going to need power. That's also going to need pipes. Now the outtake, no sweat, connected to that. The intake is a little trickier. Um, still doable. This is why we built this little ditch, as it were. Um, but we can't build a pipe bridge into a pipe bridge. So now we have this weird little amalgamation and putting the uh, the canvas right here is actually a really good idea because that means we hide it. We don't have to look at it. It's not here. Um, does this require... This probably requires gas input. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like it. Liquid intake, liquid output... So it just kind of exists, I guess? It's a little surprising. Um, but, you know, any result's a result. 
I suppose. Now this... I'm thinking this will ladder down. So we're gonna want a bit more digging. And uh, we're not gonna muck, muck about with this water yet. But this tank is going to... Uh, we're going to start expanding. We're going to need the extra room. Now these are awaiting water. Those are awaiting algae. We are pretty much... Well, we were pretty much out of algae. Now we have lots. It's there. That's the wrong button. Uh, that's also the wrong button. What are you doing, bunny? Huh. Um... Anyway, consistently, you know, sweep this stuff up. The hand sanitizer is here. Um, this improves the decor. Like, noticeably. Just having these stations every now and then would drastically improve our decor. Um, but they'll only use it before eating, so it only makes sense to have around here. That's a lot of sweeping up that was ha that was done over here, and we've trapped a lot of carbon dioxide, kind of by accident, but you know that's that's appreciated, that's helpful. All right, so our purifier is purifying, which means water is showing up out here, and uh, we're just kind of doing these digs. We have another job up here that we're not really uh, doing a lot of work with. Pipe is blocked. Why is this pipe blocked? Um, gas vent over pressure. All right. So hopefully this uh, won't create too much of a natural gas situation. I feel like all they're all over pressured. How do we dissipate gas pressure? That is the question. And is there even a way? Huh. So those are all heat related. Uh, which is not the situation that we have. We've got research stations, plumbing stuff to deal with, uh, increase or decrease the liquid volume in pipes. To maintain an ideal pressure. Um, so I mean, we could do the same with gas valve, I suppose. But I'm not confident that will actually get the job done. I mean, it might, but I'm kind of not confident. Uh, so I I don't know. This may be. Like the one thing that just ruins it for us all. This could be the thing that kills us. It is just an overload of noxious gas until things just explode. We may be killed by a natural fart. And I wish that were a joke, but that might be the situation we're in. So unfortunately, all of our We've got plenty of harvest done there, but we don't have more, more seed. Um, we'll come uproot that when someone gets around to it. Um, we're starting to uh, to venture into unknown territory. In uh, in all directions, really, including down here. There's a lot of sleet wheat, which is not something we've explored before. So, I'm thinking we, uh, go do that. And yes, it's going to be cold. It's absolutely going to be cold. And it might be low on oxygen, what with all the carbon dioxide down here and all. Um, so as, as we do this, this is going to be a job to, uh, to keep an eye on. Bigwig's starting to get stressed out again. Uh, where is Bigwig? What is Bigwig up to? Bigwig is in an area 
of no carbon dioxide. So, why is that the case? Why is there no carbon dioxide here? That is what I want to know. Um, so we will, uh, we will finally, once and for all, kill this hatch. And after we do so, we can start putting, uh, we can start putting some algae terrarium, some sources of oxygen, in our mess hall. Because this is starting to get unbreathable and that's not good. This is very breathable. This is very not. It should be the other way around, if anything. You know, because there are people here. Um, so we'd rather generate the oxygen from here, kind of push it. Uh, we had a circuit overload. Something's already going to fix. Um, that is on the coal generator's circuitry. Alright. And this this water reserve is also running low. This one's pretty much empty at this point. Uh, it's pretty much a mop job, really. So, we are really hoping for this water purifier to do to do as much work as it can. In fact... I'm starting to think, with how much, uh, how much farming is going on, uh, it's, a cons it's a concerningly low amount, but we also have tons and tons of food. So that's not very concerning. Um, switch over to Life Slow the moment you can. And, uh, yeah, starting to get tiny bits of oxygen, not really breathable. We're hoping for some of this uh, this little terrarium cluster to to do work. Oh, that day went by pretty quickly, now didn't it? Um, let's see. This polluted oxygen, not very good, but it is breathable. So it's it's got that going for it. One thing I think we're going to do. I think we have enough fertilizer. For now. Um, where is that? Agriculture? Yeah. Phosph Phosphorite? I don't even know where that came from. Honestly. Uh, but we have a good amount of fertilizer. That will hopefully last us a little while. In the morning, we're going to destroy that. And in its place, we're going to put another... Uh, another water purifier. And what we're going to do here, is if we look at this system, water is only coming in from down there. Um, well, actually, it's it's coming in from down there and going, like, splitting off to both. So we'll just pipe it all into one. And then this output, pipe it all out to one. And, uh, yeah. That actually means that this whole, this air scrubber setup is nonsense. Um, because that's the output. Except, no, that would work. That would work. That wasn't nonsense. That was sense. That was kind of sense. This bit is still unnecessary, uh, and we need another pipe bridge, and one last bit of pipe. Um, so that's all perfectly valid. Another refinement, another water purifier. We can't be afraid to, uh, to get rid of things when they're not working. Now we have to acknowledge every now and then that something isn't working and uh, and adapt to it. Uh, 
That only really needs to be a five, but all that construction does need to be a six. Or at least, you know, ever so slightly higher priority than nothing, essentially. Um, this cot we need to bump up a little bit. We have one and a half uh, cycles until then. Meldrahane, my sympathies, but somebody's got to do it. In fact, as long as we have that outhouse, you know, fertilizer is coming from it. Uh, so let's see. These bristle blossoms doing okay. Batteries doing okay. Um, our oxygen levels, again, doing okay, but not great. And we really need, like, somewhere. We need something to do with a lot of this carbon dioxide that we're generating. Um, because naturally, <clears throat> naturally speaking, it's going to go downward. Carbon dioxide goes down. This gives off more carbon dioxide, so there's even more of that to deal with. Um, this hatch is just... It's going to do what it wants to do. And when we get a chance, we'll kill you. But for now, you can hang out. Alright. So this just needs some sand delivered. And its plumbing should be... Already set? Yeah. This plumbing is already set. Um, let's prioritize that slightly more. All of this with the hopes of uh, generating as much clean water as possible. This is a problem. We have a problem. We have a problem. You probably see the problem. Um, can't build there, and that's unreachable. So what do we do here? Well, ladder, ladder, uh, no. We come down in s uh, no. No, that's not going to work either. Okay. Oh boy. Um... We might have to toggle red alert. And I'm not looking forward to that. But what we're going to do... And, uh... First off, this is all... Priority 9. 3. Dig these out. Priority 9. Deconstruct. Priority 9. Dig. Now this might seem dangerous. And this might be. But what we're also going to do as a priority 9 is dig some of this. Um... And, uh, reprioritize this dig to 9. So we're going to do whatever we can to alleviate some of this pressure. Because this is a pressure problem. So, everyone just get going. Like, we need everyone on this immediately. Because we need to repair that pressure damage right away. Um, this is a little scary. And whoever uh, goes inside, you know, if you relieve just a little bit of pressure, you know, you are... Oh dear. Oh dear. 
Build that tile. Build that tile. Build that tile. Um. Rut row. Okay. Um. Naturally, this is a uh, mop up time. Uh, we lost a lot of water there. The good news is some of the some of it went down in here, which is still a usable reservoir. The bad news is how much of it went down in here, which is uh, not quite so usable. So. That's bad. That was a bad situation. And, uh... I mean, we could have avoided it if we had paid sufficient attention earlier, but... That's just not where we are. You know, we, uh, we flubbed it. So we're going to... Take a bit of time now and uh, basically dig out our reservoir a little further. And uh, nobody's going to like this. Everyone is going to be upset now. Um, you know, I don't like it either. You know, I think we, uh, we goofed, to, uh, to say the least. Um, actually, once you deconstruct that, that will... That's extremely soft, so that'll probably get knocked away. The manual airlock didn't, uh... Didn't protect us. So, uh... We're gonna have a bit of a situation here. But right now the hope is that this will, uh... This will break, and that will cause flooding. Well, that will cause it to, uh, to flood out there. And then, just open this airlock. Yeah, I know, it kind of sucks. In fact, uh, cancel that, because otherwise you're going to be doing that forever. Um, so, three -er. Open that up. In fact, cancel that command as well. Let someone dig that quickly. Um, we're actually getting things kind of back to normal now. Uh, this is like looking ready to pop though, so. You know, high priority on all this. Um, we're sort of resolving the situation, almost. Let's deconstruct that tile as well, and uh, cancel that build command so everything flows down. And, uh,. Hmm, well. Let's not beat around the bush. That was a mess. That was an absolute mess. Really bad situation all around. Uh, like this is not good. The spores. Who got the spores? Silver. Well, you were going to go to sleep. And then... We are assigning you to the Rejuvenation Pod, where once you wake up, we'll head over there and uh, hopefully be better. While everyone else, I'm afraid, is going to have to keep working on resolving this reservoir situation. And, uh, 
I'm starting to think part of it really is going to be having multiple levels of tile. And like the most durable tile that we can, which I don't know which one that is. Uh, it's probably not sandstone. Is it obsidian? Maybe. Maybe having obsidian tile will uh, will benefit us. Might as well put tile all there too. Um. Now the the surprise here is that Bigwig is not getting that highly stressed. Silver is very stressed, but silver is also sick. Being sick tends to be stressful. You know, I'm not a fan of it. I don't imagine anyone else is. Uh, we've lost... We've lost the natural gas generator again. Um, if we weren't dealing with uh, such a situation right now, we would probably work to figure that out. But instead, we're kind of uh, doing whatever we can here. I'm really hoping that the the, uh, the excavation of our reservoir is going to help the uh, the whole water pressure situation. Now, I'm not counting on that, and. That's part of what this obsidian is about. So, these things are flooded. Right. Um, so now I think we can mop all this up. And set this back to auto. So, sorry cowslip, but... You know, it's a dirty job, someone's gotta do it. Meanwhile, your crew up here is uh, yeah, taking care of what they can. Sweep all this up. And uh, someone is very soon coming into this absolute mess. Um, we're getting some tile built here. Um, this is unreachable, so... Actually, deconstruct that. Then we can do one obsidian tile at a time. But this should be reachable now. Is it reachable? Really not reachable? Ooh, fun. Well, it's unreachable except for the ability to reach it. That apparently exists. Um... So what we're doing very slowly is uh, creating a better kind of floor for the uh, the reservoir, but it's still pretty heavy, and uh, this may not be a very good long long-term position for it. Uh, we may have to kind of work out a new new plan in the not too distant future uh, this polluted water reservoir has you know, itself kind of sorted out the abyssalite is nearly impenetrable and uh, hmm we're starting to develop a pit of it I'm starting to wonder if maybe there's a solution there. We need some more storage. Uh, we'll see about that. Right now, things are almost getting back to normal. Almost, but not really. Um, got this... Uh, Hmm. Why is the natural gas generator not generating natural gas? It's got to be like a uh, got to be a gas pressure problem. 
Uh, but it doesn't say. At what point is, uh... It, do it doesn't make sense. That does not make sense. All I know is that it's complicated, and it's difficult, and it doesn't like me. And yes, I am taking a personal affront to the nat natural gas generator. That thing has it out for me in particular. But hey, we have oxygen in our, uh, in our mess hall again. So that's nice. We, uh, we worked our way through that situation. Uh, that one, that feels so quaint now, doesn't it? Like, oh, we have a bit of carbon dioxide in our, uh, in our mess hall. Whatever shall we do? Meanwhile, we're getting a flood. We're getting flooded. Now, being flooded is a bad thing. So, uh, who are we bringing into this mess? We've got Frankie, who has diver's lungs. That may come in handy. Uh, well, actually, that's just air consumption rate. That's not, uh, that's not the water movement stuff. Uh, but he is a narcoleptic. So is Travaldo. But Travaldo is uncultured, so has a very low decor expectation. Um, and is pretty strong. And then you have... Good old Harold, the Iron Gut Yokel. Uh, yokel is really good for the situation that we're in. Iron Gut, not a huge deal, but also pretty good. Decor expectation is a little high. Uh, we can work with that. Um, we'll become. I mean, Big Wig tends to have higher decor expectations, and we're. We're living with that. Uh, so you are going to be you're gonna be strawberry. That's a very very cushy name for Well, you're not the straw well you're a bodybuilder. You're a bit tough, you can carry a lot. Um And we are now completely relying on you to save us. Because we're starting to get a situation. You also look exactly like Bigwig. Like, I'm going to assume you're brothers. Uh, and so, that will do it for this episode. Uh, now that we've had our requisite uh, calamity and chaos. So, uh, yeah, we'll just stop here before we keep making things worse. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching things gradually descend into madness. If you did, a like would be appreciated. Subscribe doubly so. But either way, ta-ta for now.